us about well, it. Well, every morning I like to get up and run on my treadmill and I listen to music. Mm -hmm. And I was listening to a particular reggae song. And the performer kept singing this word, um, harambe, harambe. And halfway through the song, she explained what it was. And it means to uh, pull together, to help each other, sharing and caring and come together. Wow. And that's the child you just made. There's harambe. Harambe is her name. Once again, what does it mean again? It means pulling together, coming together, sharing and caring about one another. And what is it, like Swahili? It's a Swahili word. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is so, so fantastic. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Elder God Podcast. I am your host, Kanzi Chugs. Here with me, I have my co-hosts that are on here occasionally. We have Big Bad Chugs, and I got Chief Chugs. Chief Chugs. And we also got a surprise guest. He's uh, kind of my arch nemesis, Double Digit Chugs. Don't touch that mouse <laughs> if you're listening to <laughs> Double Digit Chugs. Before we get into it, this episode is brought to you by Olipop. What is Ollie? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even watch the show. The show. All right, we got a, we got a normie here. Uh, I'm really talking. About <laughs> <laughs> is that bad? I don't know what it is either. Uh, you guys don't watch the show. It's his like new soda sponsor. Oh, uh, Ollie Pop. Huh. Yeah, it's like thirty five bucks a do- uh, yeah a dozen. Well, I'm sorry, sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. We apologize. To well, listen, listen. This is episode thirty three of the Ellie God Podcast. Today's theme: Harambe. Also, oh. moment of silence right away. Moment of silence okay. right away. We're gonna do a couple of those. Thank you. And chug it out. We're also doing some chugs. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. But wait, this is Kanzi. What is this episode also known as? Oh, uh, yeah. We're, our dicks are currently out for Harambe. I was going for the second anniversary it's part the, two. It's mm-hmm. the second, second anniversary of the Outer God podcast. We're doing it right this time. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I was, I was going to get into it already, but you said it. Um, we, we had some uh, comments last time about a certain guest we had on last time. We're sorry about that. Yeah. That's why you brought in two of the big boys. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we make up for this episode. I'm sorry. Their Except views were terrible. I don't even know who he was. <laughs> You've been on like two episodes of it, I don't know. But listen, this episode's available on Spotify, Instagram. Not Instagram, but you know, I'm not going through it, Everywhere. man. You guys know. And we're doing it for Harambe. This one's for Harambe, guys. He's been mentioned a lot in the last couple episodes, so we thought, you know what, let's just do it. Get it out of the way. I just want to go through our guest list one quick second here. Double digit Dan. Double digit Chugs. He's back. Surprise appearance. Thank you, yes. We're going to get into in a second why he's here, but we special summoned him. He came out. We sensed his power level as he was approaching our house. Mm -hmm. He busted through the door. Welcome. Thank you. I just marched right in. I have my DOS boot here. Not a a sponsor, but could be. Could be. Amazon DOS boot, please. Fits over five beers. Or sodas. We know Jeff's watching. For the kids. Or sodas for the kids. But it's good to be back. It's been a while. uh, What was the last episode you won? Uh, Was it the Battling Shugs episode? I think it was, yeah. (laughs) I was away at school honor. for a while, so yeah. yeah, it's good to be back, and it's good to be under a new name, yeah, you Double at, uh, Digit Chugs. Yeah, were you, you at uh, Baird Middle School, right? Yes, Baird Middle School. Great, great place. Yeah, I, I was a chugging major, actually, so you yeah. can see why now I am the Double Digit Chugs, you know. Back in my day, because I had my bad knees, I couldn't go up this big staircase there. I used mm. the elevator. Ooh, but uh, anyway. That's a Did privilege really? there. We'll get into it. <laughs> so uh, first okay. housekeeping, let's get into it. Last episode was the... Uh, the first two-year anniversary is so the second one. We had some videos from fans and uh, past guests about congratulating us. Before we get into the big thing about that, any other thoughts about it? No fun? No good they times? Were. They were. I liked so. the, the fan videos. Those were good, for sure. Yeah. Kevin's was really good. Yeah, Kevin's was good. Uh, um, I think my personal favorite was uh, Brian Torres. I'm still trying to get that guy on. I don't know who he is. I haven't really tried to get him on yet, but I do want him on, so uh, maybe eventually we'll get him on. But the big thing here was... Kanzi made a video where he chugged some, uh, what was it, Diet Coke? Diet on, his, Pepsi? on his own platform. Diet Pepsi. Yeah, I posted it on my YouTube channel, Kanzi Chugs. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and uh, subscribe. Plug. Nice plug. But then, double digit Dan here, he also sent me one, but he did a chug. Mm-hmm. It was kind of like Elder God Fate there, Quinky Dinky. It's no collusion. Yeah. And I then, think uh, it was just, you know, complete sabotage, just trying to bring me down. So then you mm-hmm. posted a response video. Yeah, I don't like drama, but <laughs> I gotta address it. And uh, you basically imply, I- I'll-, I'll play a clip in a second, um, you hear it in one second, but you quote said that if you guys were to do a chug off, if you won, Kanzi won, you would take his DOS boot. Oof. But if Dan won, you quote said you would give him your cap. 
I he was not plenty. neutered. I got plenty of them. Ooh. I propose a chug off to see who is the best chugger. You know, anytime you want, any place you want, you can chug anything. I will destroy you either way. If I win, I want that DOS boo. And if you win, come here. You get this cat, the first cat that came to me. Which um, cat? The whatever one. I think it was Piglet. He was the first <laughs> you one. You don't to know what the cat's <laughs> name is. <laughs> he was the first one to come to me. I'm more of a Bjorn fan. I like Bjorn too. Oh, uh, yeah. Yo, cat, real quick. My cat Gibby. Oh, where is it? Oh, <laughs> Scratched me right there Yo. today, man. No For the audio listeners, we just looked at Thad's <laughs> very hairy stomach. Mm. Hey. It almost looked like the cat. Hey, man. <laughs> He's not kidding. Hey, man. <laughs> That's what, that's what gives me the puss, if you know what I mean. Whoa. <laughs> Listen, boys. <laughs> Talk about cats for the So we're going to do a chug off this episode. We're going to do that after a little bit later, but look forward to that. And if you skip, your bitch. It's for Harambe, though. Yes, chug's out for Harambe. Yeah, we're going to that... talk about Harambe first. Okay, okay, chug, okay sorry. Yeah, Jump in the gun a little bit. Jump well, in the chug a little the bit. The chug is happening. I got the drink in that room. Do not go in there. Wait, it's a special drink? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What did you think you were going to chug? Yeah, what? Water, water, or something. No, no, no. We're Typical doing... amateur chug. <laughs> what? Do you know what it is? <laughs> no. No, you think we're doing water? I'm scared what it is. You think we're going to do water? In addition to a regular drink that we're going to have. <laughs> it's milk. There's going to be a lot worse Listen, consequences was... for me. <laughs> After he's having a ready kid. As I said earlier, we're like, I like that you were like, oh, we can't do that for the Elder God podcast. <laughs> I, I was literally a big white with Misha. And like, we look at the drinks, and I kept going like, oh, we can't do that for the Elder God podcast. We've got to do something better. <laughs> I Which, like, it. every drink in the aisle. <laughs> I did land on something, though. I have a housekeeper related to Harambe. Sure. We discussed in the last episode that the Super Bowl was coming out. The, the big game? The big game, and uh, the Bengals were going to win for Harambe. Mm-hmm. They unfortunately did not. So, Harambe was, was failed once again by the city of Cincinnati. Excuse Moments Cincinnati. of silence for Harambe. Thank you. Oh, I, yeah. I heard a kid ran out of the field, and the Cincinnati team just beat the shit out of it. That didn't happen. In a gorilla oh. suit, was yeah. it mm-hmm. you? Kanzi, also, that brings up my other housekeeping. You were not in the gorilla suit that you were seen in the Halloween episode. Uh, yeah, what's up that? was the suit? I haven't had it for like five years. Go get it. Go buy a new one. It's in probably China. You have money. I can find it. In in the back of my head, I was really hoping that I was going to see you in full gorilla outfit tonight. I, I tried to do something special, but I think I have something even more special <laughs> for this episode. <laughs> okay. I'm a little scared about that. Also, I, I guess forgot to mention... That um, I hope you guys enjoy this podcast because it may be the last one for a while, you know, for the draft. So mm. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy it while you can. Do you that have more housekeeping? That I, I got double housekeeping. Oh, okay, because I do too. So go ahead. Yeah, maybe my maybe my uh, my knees will make me a five F. Titanic knees. Yeah, listen, you're looking more like a seventh round pick as opposed yeah, to. Yeah, that's gonna be my name in the one. army. Uh, Titanic knees. He's number one in our hearts. Yeah, number one in our hearts. Can I say my housekeeping? Oh, sure, man. It might be a little bit underwhelming, but I was perusing the Elder God podcast channel. Looking up all the guest names I've been on because I haven't seen a single episode. <laughs> okay. And while I was looking up, I looked at all of the other videos, and one of the most popular videos, if not the most popular, was Frederick Doug- Douglass never dropped an album. <laughs> yeah. And I just thought that was really funny. It's a great episode. Great that, that's it. I, 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 I'm using Apple because I love that scene so much, and there wasn't a very good video of it on YouTube. So. Shout outs to Eric Andre, going to be on Impractical Jokers this season. Oh, yeah. Good, yo, soon. good. Uh, Good uh, connection there. Yeah, housekeeping. Oh, I don't care about Joe anymore. I guess caught up with like Jokers too. Like, uh, just uh, today actually, I watched nice. the the, Which uh, one did you see today? the awards one. It wasn't that good. <laughs> the awards one. Yeah, they give the awards out for like best challenge. That's why I like the crew. Oh, I maybe even skip that. Is it like it's like a, a yeah, clip episode, yeah, right? Not really, I guess. Yeah, okay. But listen, uh, I do have a good housekeeping here. Back to the last one, we talked about media. Not media. We talked about market basket. Those are Ooh. great. Yes. People. I already forgot the names. Cameron, I think. And Colin. Colin. Uh, one of them, uh, codenamed Black Carpet. Here's a quote here. I just want to read it out. Uh, I never had the soda, but the Market Basket employee experience is okay. You need to work over six hours for a 30-minute break, and you get a 10-minute break for a five-hour shift. I'll buy the soda that you guys bought tomorrow. By the way, sick podcast as always, by the way. I read that wrong. We want you guys on. Great. Mm. Yeah, you guys are invited. Um, Do a clip for us. Only thing I'm going to say about the uh, break thing is that sucks. Retail sucks. But let me tell you something. As a big white employee right here. Oof. It's not much better, is it? No, it's not. Big Y Market Basket. I know Market Basket is slightly better, but they're still kind of sucking with the brakes. Like, come on, big, come on, guys. Come on. Oh. Dicks out for black carpet. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need to have a, a Market Basket versus Big Y, like, ch- 
hug off or something. Black or carpet, some please contact us. Get on the podcast. We want you here. Yes. We'll, 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 show, we'll show you on our big Also, line. I have a market basket bag. Oh, did you know what I'm saying? Let's go. <laughs> right here. Oh, oh you, you bought a dollar. Oh, I, I did. Gonna, I was going to buy. Wait, why didn't you bring it for the last episode? I did. I've had it. I think it. I think it did. Money is no we, object. I I Money is no object. No. We will fly you out. We will fly you out. To Oxford. House you. <laughs> Speaking of Oxford, that's near Spencer. I want to talk about Spencer real quick. Spencer Again. Mass. We talked about mm. Spencer Mass last Not episode. Spencer Bertini. Not Spencer Bertini. Spencer Mass. Uh, shout out to Marla. Listen, um, I was, I, you know what? Every podcast, I put a video before the actual podcast. And I, was th- I don't know what I was going to do last episode uh, for the break one specifically. And I was looking up Spencer videos on YouTube. I saw that. And I saw a video named Spencer Guide for Tourists. <laughs> and I, I, was, I was going through it. I just want to point out, they did not list Big Y as one of the attractions. Oh. It literally listed Subway. No. Yes, oh. they did. What? Yes. It listed, like, everything. Kind of price shopper, but not Big Y. So I just want to say. How about the cemetery that's across the street? Yes. It, it was literally everything in Spencer, even that lake we were at, but not Big Y. How about so. that place close to the lake? Yeah. Uh, I guess they Big did. Y. Big Y was slacking with the sponsor money for the town of Spencer. A little disappointing. Maybe, maybe it's just like there as well. Listen, mm-hmm. maybe that speaks a lot to you know Big Y's company. That's good, Big Y. And in my last housekeeping, Disclaimer. it's not housekeeping, but I just have to say it. Um, anti shout out to a certain uh, police officer in Ludlow, <laughs> uh, one that may be related to my beautiful girlfriend Misha Collins. Uh, her birthday was February first. No present from him. No present. Ooh. Can you, can you believe With an it? explanation? No explanation. Did, what about a birthday wish? Was that a quick I, text? Maybe. Oof. I don't even know, to be honest. But That's pathetic. It's currently uh, February, I don't know. It's almost March. 26th? 26th, no yeah. gift. Yeah. Didn't even show up for the party. He was uh, he was somewhere. He wasn't didn't even, even show up for the party. Didn't even show Oof. up for the party. Has and she seen him since? Yes. Oh. Disown the, uh, him. Disown him. Horrible person. We don't need him. Uh, you, know, you know, Dan, you're, you're an officer. Your dad is a mm-hmm. lieutenant. Great man. Mm-hmm. You know you know that. I'm not going to say the exact amount, but you know the average salary of a policeman is probably pretty high, right? Yeah. Can't afford to get for his sister. Now, f- you. Can we, ask the, can we ask the question, do blue lives matter? <laughs> Listen. Well, green lives matter. Yeah. The, only matter yes. the only lives that matter is gorilla lives. Yes. Which we'll get into. We'll get into. I have a housekeeping. This goes back to the very first episode of the Elder God <laughs> Okay, and this is for you. I love, I love the way you said that. Now, this being the second anniversary part two. Last weekend, I was in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Ooh. What'd you get? We're in Pennsylvania. I was in Pennsylvania last week, which we will discuss later. Oh, I know this. Week. Oh, I know but a lot about Pennsylvania. In the very first episode of the podcast, we discussed a certain individual. Does anybody remember who that individual was? Shrek. No. Oh, it just came up in the news. Oh, gritty. Gritty. <laughs> gritty. I was sitting That's up. Disgusting. I was gritty sitting up. Back. I was sitting up in the in the uh, the second tier of the building, and I looked gritty. down, and Gritty is here at the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Hockey game. I'm pointing down because that's where he oh, was. Oh, I pointed to the Steve. No, shout out to Steve. Steve. Actually, his name's not Steve. What's his name? <laughs> I don't know Asian Steve's um, name. And I saw Gritty, and it was the, it was Lehigh Valley's mascot's birthday, so they had other mascots there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, my God, I have to find Gritty. Did you find Gritty? I tracked him down. It was tough because people were going swarming for him. He has two Secret Service agents that follow him. <laughs> and I said, Gritty. I, all these kids are around him. I, say, I walk up. I said, Gritty, I need a picture. He refused to take a picture with me. But here we are, me and him. <laughs> and Kanzi, I have this picture for you in a frame because you were in that first episode. What do you mean you refused to take he a picture? Wow. He wouldn't pose for a picture. Oh, wow. Oh. So I, I posed like, oh, what's up? Because I, I had the Springfield jersey on. They were oh. playing Springfield. <laughs> what, a, what was the episode? I think it was the first episode. He Shrek. was like, the deal was some kid and his father he, were accusing him of like beating him up yeah, or like, yeah. pushing him. Yeah, kid or something. Yeah. <laughs> I so I saw him, and I said, oh, man, I got to get him. And there's kids in that photo. He looks like he'd, like, beat up yeah. a kid. Yeah. yeah so know. it was Elder God Fate, and I'd gone to Philly a couple years ago and couldn't track him down to get a picture, so here we are. Did he tell you he didn't want to take a picture? No, he was just like... Huh. Yeah, well, Alice, I, have a, I have a good friend of mine from school. He, yes. he works for the Flyers now. He does, like, refereeing. And oh, he yeah? took a picture he posted on Instagram just today of him standing next to Gritty. And I might have to tell him, you know, oh, you have some choice words for yes. that mascot. Let's, I, like I, I can give him an autograph copy if he wants. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's him. We wouldn't post a picture, so he's just like staring at me. I'm quite it disgusted by the actions of Gritty. Yes. And I think we need to bring it up and raise the concern. He's the uh, same color as the podcast, Orange. Anyway, uh, got a drink? <laughs> gritty, come on the podcast. Yeah, clearly Gritty lives don't matter. Yeah, gritty lives don't matter. Orange lives. Bobby lives matter. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go get the drink. Okay. It's upstairs now. 
upstairs. To explain. Let me go get it first. It's in the fridge. You have the cups down here? Yeah, it's cups. You know, I'm kind of excited because I didn't actually see this drink in the fridge. Yeah, I looked too. I didn't see a... Uh, 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 is, is it like these oh. shots? Oh, boy. Is it what? Never mind. So while we're here, um, I've been wanting to bring back a uh, segment for a while now. We'll do it real quick. Uh, guest interview. Danny, tell me mm. a little about yourself. What have you been up to? Well, myself, well, you know what? Uh, just graduated college this oh, cool. past December. Job, yep, thank you, thank you. So uh, now I'm just working locally. <laughs> Not us. <laughs> and I'm just working locally uh, right out of the, the nice city of Westfield, Mass. Oh, nice. nice. So what are you doing? Mm. Wait for my ass. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm a GIS analyst, Jizz as it's called. Oh. Which is actually what it's called. Well, it's actually called Jizz, but Interesting. basically I, I do like something. mapping and stuff. Geography related things. Go. Everybody close your eyes. Good luck with your uh, uh, career, Stan. Kanzi will not Thank be you. participating in the first round of the drinks. Is this like what? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to give a disadvantage to mm. my opponent. Close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Sorry, you're not I got stomach drink. room. I'm not drinking the <laughs> pound water. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of nervous about Tricky this. Tricky fucker, you made me. Oh, oh well, I'm not pussy. Hold up. My stomach hurt after I drank that pond water. Like, not even joking. That's why. Uh, <laughs> probably all the equal here and it. Yeah, it builds character. Yeah, you know, you gotta pull yourself up by the bootstraps, right? That's what I'm gonna do once I get drafted. <laughs> well, hold up. We'll this. be like stripes. I will say, Great, market we'll basket cans are a lot stronger. Close than your eyes. Animal. But Kanzi doesn't have to close his eyes. Let's I don't want say, to put anything in my drink, Salas. Let's just say me going down the Connecticut River today was a little tough. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh. Why is it fizzing? <laughs> I carbonated it with the soda stream. Oh, okay. Shout out soda stream. Okay, everybody close your eyes. I don't understand why I'm not drinking it. You'll do, know do, in a do, second. Do you see what it is, Kanzi? I'm closing my eyes. Oh, yeah. Dan, I'm going to give you a cup. Don't touch or si or drink yet or even okay. sniff. I'm just going to touch <laughs> just to feel where it is. Okay. It's wait, right now there. i got to get myself one. Okay, so wait, it's, it's right there. Oh, my God. This is making me nervous and my heart's pounding. Yeah, I'm a little nervous wait, too sure now. <laughs> Hearing about this pond Kanzi can open, I guess. It looks like. Don't say, don't say. No, it just looks like there's like. Stuff in it. I don't know. Mm. What the fuck? Oh, okay, everybody here. Oh, I know what it here's is. your cup. Everybody take a sip. I know what it is. That was interesting. Can I take a sip? Yeah. I feel like I know what this is. Is this mm. piss? <laughs> it kind of looked like piss. Is this uh, like cream soda? Yeah, it's definitely kind of halfway there. I what is this? I'm not drinking anymore. <laughs> I, don't I, know I will say, is. I still don't it's know why. It's a real drink. Don't worry about it. You're acting, pretty good. You're acting sussy vodka. I didn't put anything in it. I still don't know why I'm not allowed to drink it. Why do I feel like I've had this before? Is this golden ginger ale? <laughs> is it um? Is it like orange creamsicle soda or something? It is mm. a treat, orange cream soda. Now I found this oh. in Allentown when I was there last weekend. Oh, nice. I was like, I gotta find something for the podcast. Mm. So I found this at uh, what's the name of the grocery store? I have it on the bag here. They're they're big wide, Renders. Renders. Cool store. Uh, I got the soda. Better than market basket? I looked at the sodas and this seemed like a their version of let's say Harmony Springs. Okay. It's made in, uh, where is it? Orfield, Pennsylvania. Shout out to Orfield. And, and I oh. figured something a little unique. They had orange cream and they had orange, but I said, I'm good orange. Uh, I think we guessed. I gotta say, this is impressively good. It is good. Yeah. I have another bottle if you guys want to keep sips on it, but I know you guys are chugging soon. But Kanzi, you didn't drink with us. Why? <laughs> you told him I have to. something special for you. Ooh. In my Willy Wonka <laughs> Gene oh, Wilder look lunchbox. That's incredible. <laughs> That's in really good condition. Yeah. I'm picture this. That's the original. So, Kanzi, what could be in here for you? Golden ticket. Now, when I was at the grocery store and I picked up a couple bottles, oh, thank you. I had taken two originally. Yes. And as it was halfway through the store, Kanzi, you ready? Ooh. I got you diet orange cream because oh, I know you're for the diet soda. Thank you. I realized I had a diet. Oh. So I went back out a regular and I said, you know, this works out good because we're going to have tons. He likes diet soda. So I got to do a I diet. I was going right to talk about We have no dietary options. So here. I have a cup for you. Go on, too. Oh, if you want to sip right out, go ahead. Right out. I'm, I'm digesting, too. That's very thoughtful. thoughtful. Yeah. You know what? I, I thought so it was I'm, I'm enjoying this. I thought this it was is be really a, good. A gotcha. I'm, shout out to Allentown, by the way. I wouldn't like I got you. some good friends there. Yeah, Allentown. Yeah, shout out to Allentown. Cheers to Allentown. Let me tell you. I've never been to Allentown before, but we're going to discuss it later. It's really good. Let's go there. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, this is really good. Ever been to Allentown? I haven't been in the city, but I've been around there. This is good. It is. It's um, good knowing just... I have Allentown inside of me right now. <laughs> mm. How's the diet? It's really good. Do you mind if I sip the diet too? Yeah, go ahead. I wish uh, Paul Allen was inside of me. Let's see Paul Allen's soda. <laughs> That's actually pretty good too. Mm. 
It tastes creamy and yeah, this you know, is really orange. good. Let's see uh, Paul Allen. And, and uh, the can, the, the <laughs> bottle is kind of retro too. looking too. That's my like Actually, sentiment towards <laughs> right now. I have something related yeah, to let's soda. See, let's see Conti's chug. I have something related to soda and mm. you know the podcast, the second, second, second anniversary. Not really. It's been something kind of of the lore of the podcast. You know, something that every time I come here, it gets mentioned, and I just thought. You know, I kind of want to end it now. Um, <laughs> what does so, this mean? It's my special surprise. It's not a gun. Don't fucking. <laughs> okay. It's a taser. Oh, no, 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 no. It makes me more suspicious. My ghost is a I was looking through my. What that for? I was looking through my house today. I'll take it. I'll take what I got. I was looking through my house today. I found them. If uh, the viewers. Was there four? I couldn't I don't remember. Know. I, I've been using IKEA coasters for the podcast since like, what, episode two or three. And that was when we filmed in Kanzi's old studio and then got. The ghost kicked him out, so I finally got him back. Thank you, Kanzi. Yeah, no Ch- problem. Shake him. No problem. Also, I was giggling because um, I'm just thinking about this picture of Salva's and Gritty <laughs> sitting in your house somewhere. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> I'll send a picture of it for the podcast. I need several copies. <laughs> you guys hungry? I'm a little bit. Do so, you want to do a blind snack? Yes. Okay, we'll do a blind snack. I must, uh, it's kind of a snacky snack. Us blinded the most. And look, I, I did learn to lift my legs up over the wire. Hey. <laughs> every cool. every snack for Stevie Wonder is a blind snack, if you really think about it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Shout out Stevie Wonder. We know you're listening. Hey. Close your eyes. Hold oh, up. boy. Plug my phone in. Mm. Hold that out of the cooler. That's what are you doing over there? Thad, can I ask that the, the thing we're chugging is... An actual liquid meant to be yes. drank. It's not corn or anything, right? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ever seen that cream I, corn I, I chug from Badlands? I, I chugged a can of cream corn. Did you see that video? I'll send it. I'll send it. Send it to me, please. <laughs> Fucking no. Wow. Because he said something. I was like, Kanzi, are you gonna? Could you chug cream corn? Day? I went to Big White, bought a couple cans. He did it. Did it, was, it go down easier or harder than expected? I mixed it with water and it was bad. Okay. <laughs> I was pretty much like eating it. Yeah. Once it, it got to the solid part. Are you going to do the salsa on the channel? No, the channel? I don't like salsa. That's like the best one. Okay, guys. Oh, just... I'm placing it in the middle. Oh, oh, close the eyes. That's right. Hold on a second. Let me, uh... <laughs> okay, Ooh, I'm getting in the chugging mood. All right, so I'm placing it over here. Uh, let me let me touch all your hands real quick so you know where it is. Okay. And this is it's we'll gonna, be, gonna be right here. Oh, wow. I smell popcorn. This is, cute. It is, this is popcorn. Oh nice. Oh, I, oh, I have popcorn over at here. home to do for the podcast. Mm, oh. So take a bite. Take a couple. Mmm. You know, honestly. Oh. Oh, <laughs> what wow. is this? Is this um sour patch kid? No. Yeah. Is this like like nerds or something? You are close with the. It's pretty good. The theming. Oh no, it's not good. Why? What's well, not? Why is so different? It though? tastes like blueberry wow. popcorn. Oh, you guys are close. Wait, it tastes wait, like wait. a cereal. Yeah, yeah, Skittles. Yeah. Um, Fruit Trick, Loops. Tricks popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does taste like Tricks though. Um, you guys are not gonna get it, but you open your eyes. This is oh, unicorn I... popcorn. Oh, you got Yankee Candle. Yeah, it's like Yankee Candle. This is not good. This is lemon and berry flavored candy coated uh, popcorn. It's really good. Honestly, it's not that I bad. I like it. It's not bad. No, I'm a Cracker Jack guy, so. I prefer my popcorn to be savory, unless it's a pop, uh, like a Cracker Jack. I don't do kettle cooked or shit like that. It's interesting that it has regular, oh wait, no. No, this is just like, are these just regular? This is Kanzi covered. It's oh. definitely really <laughs> sugary. The only thing I'm gonna say about it is that it kinda looks like moldy on it. <laughs> this one does look. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look so, this you can tell this is moldy. Man. It's got like all three looks flavors. Like <laughs> Everlasting Gobstock. Yeah. Mm. That's like me when I at Willy Wonka Casino, you know what I mean. Nothing but gobstops. I walked by one today. I didn't play, though. <laughs> oh, I don't think I favorite about the Willy Wonka stuff. I hate that Willy Wonka slot machine. Oh, I, I always win big on it. <laughs> you always do. I always yeah. lose on that. Day. He always, always loses on it. Yeah. yeah. I'm like the only person who wins on it. Nice. But um, in my work for the cafeteria at work, we're doing a Willy Wonka week. So Ooh. I might stop by for that. For real. I'll, well, I'm not gonna, you can't stop by, but I'll try to save you some stuff if you want. You just meet me outside. You bring me out a sandwich or something. I want, I want the Mike TV dinner. I'm do that. I'll come by. Why is this kind of good? Meet you in the parking lot at... Uh, no, I'm gonna wh- break. Where do you work again for the podcast? Uh, Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. I'm going to break into the Walmart. Does okay. it say what flavors this is or anything? Or just this candy covered? Yeah, it's lemon and berry. Oh. Did you say that? Yeah, yeah I can did. taste that now. Okay, I can taste... I definitely taste the lemon. Oh, I bit my lip. Yeah, I'm not it's into it. It was made. Vernon, California. Yeah. Oh, oh quick thing about Yankee Candle. Popcornopolis. Um, I keep mentioning her, but Misha Collins, that's where we had our first date. Yankee Candle and the Butterfly Museum. And I just want to give a shout out to the place. I may mention it before, but Holiday Pizza over in Deerfield. Great pizza place. You know, when we talk about pizza places, I have the best pizza. Yes. 
Holly Pizza's up there. Not expensive at all. And uh, so I mentioned I saw someone get fired there. What kind of pizza you get fired? Roni? What do you mean you got some, someone got fired? We got a buffalo chicken. Oh. Uh, some guy came in, um, and then the guy was like, hey, you're COVID free? He's like, hell yeah, man. And as I was leaving, I saw the same guy leaving. He's like, he's like, oh, I just got fired for having a day off of work. Because I got, took a day off sick. And, I'm like, and I said, oh, good luck. Cool. Well, we all know COVID's not real, so... We're all here. Let's we'll keep going. <laughs> we all know COVID wouldn't exist if mm. Rambe was still around. Yes. That's, that's true. Mm-hmm. Is that true? That's, that's, actually, that's actually true. Double mm-hmm. fine. Bubba COVID right now. That's why they're not here? Yeah. Okay. It would have originally better. This one looks good. You guys ready to go to media? Um, yes. Yeah. I like your notes are like computer paper. I can't find my notebook. <laughs> my usual notebook. Oh, damn. Maybe Tony took it. Do I get Nelson? Tony. Who is that? That, that guy who was on the last episode. Oh, yeah. yeah. Andy's brother. Shout out to Andy. <laughs> we should, Thanks for the vid. <laughs> we should call Tony Andy's brother from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, we have to get Andy on. Yeah. Until we find out what happens in Agawam. Well, no. Yeah. Someone that works currently vacationing in Agawam. Mm. Must be something there. <laughs> anyway, do you even know who's telling Agawam to vacation at? <laughs> Probably one. Before we talk about Harambe and this super good shug off we're going to do, quick commercial break. Hey, I just got back from the post office and there's a box there for me. And you know I like to open them for you. Thanks for the surprise. And I- Media. Movies, TV shows, games. So we did. You know what? What you got? All right, I'm gonna bring up Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh, you know why? Because I think it's a very fascinating game. I feel like it's so close to being really good. It's so so close, mm-hmm. but it just falls short in enough areas. Like the story's not that good. You know, the battling system is kind of weird. The Pokemon selection is okay, but mm-hmm. the whole like gameplay thing of going around, throwing the balls at the Pokemon, like being stealthy, mm-hmm. like the fundamentals are there. And even if like the game itself is not great, I think that the future with it is awesome. So shout out to Pokemon. I'm Legends just saying the same thing. Mm-hmm. The potential's there. Oh, yeah. Basically, took the best of Pokemon Go, mm-hmm. which is um, I don't know an okay game, but it took basically the aspects of that, the aspects of the main series. I think it's a great game. I will agree with the story sucks. Mm-hmm. Once again, you see the bad guy coming out of way. Yep. I mean, he, he literally looks like Cynthia. Yep. Put two and two together. Shout out to Cynthia, by the way. I like the selection. The selection's not that bad. I did like the I like the idea of Alpha Pokemon. I think they're really fun to use. Yeah, Alpha's how, cool. How big they are. Battling system, it's okay. I feel like the turn, like, you know how it says, like, the turn order? Yeah. Like, sometimes it lies to you. <laughs> yeah, I still don't get how it works, because... Yeah. I, I figure, you know, you think it's like an agile style, you get to move like twice, but it weakens your move. Yeah. But then sometimes you use it, and then you don't move twice, and then they move twice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're just like, wait, what? The thing what with, like, just happened? I think it ties to the speed stat, too, but. I think so. But yeah, if you don't know what we're talking about, it's a new Pokemon game, open world. You basically run around, catch Pokemon. I think you were like a lot, Kanzi. I got Brilliant Diamond, and then. That sucks. That yeah, game's terrible. I wanted to die. That is the most Diamond. disappointing remake, probably. I wanted to end my life. <laughs> we should get Arceus. Arceus is really good. Damn, yeah, I Really good game. I got a good media. It's so. uh, a little U- YouTube channel I stumbled upon. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's, uh, it's called Conzi Chugs, you know. It's about, oh. a, about a guy who, uh, you know, goes around and he chugs things. It, you know, he, he's, not just a, he's not just a chugger. He's a man of many different talents, you know. I, I got a sneak preview. He's going to test the pH of certain liquids on, on his next episode. <laughs> he has a hmm. podcast called The Evening Sip. Uh, you know and it really a good up and coming podcast I think you should check out go ahead subscribe you know join the Patreon buy the merch like share subscribe ring that bell unsubscribe resubscribe again do what you do is it that's your channel ah I don't um, what hmm oh is there any videos of any chugging of pond water not currently no oh okay oh that's a tease Okay. Hey, you know, like, comment, share, comment what you want next. I'm just gonna you say, know. Badlands chug the ocean, so 
You yeah. can at least use some pond water. I mean, that's the thing is, you know, he doesn't really seem like he's going after Badlands Chugs. It might be, you know, kind of a tribute to Badlands, but not necessarily a copycat of Badlands, you know. Now, do you think he could out-chug uh, double-digit Chugs? Like, I don't know. In I, have, opinion? I have 100% faith that he could out-chug <laughs> double-digit Chugs. You know what? Circle back to media. Double-digit Chugs YouTube <laughs> channel. Uh, it's up and coming soon. TBH. Okay. T or TBA. That's what it is. TBA. Should You're be aiming it right now, eventually. right? Yes, I am aing it right now. <laughs> Double digit chugs. Maybe after this, you know, there might be some beef between Konzi chugs and double digit chugs. Maybe in the future it could be a collab. Uh, quite possibly. Mm -hmm. Quite possibly. But you know, it's not necessarily chugging that Konzi does. It just seems like he does. This okay, we're winning this. One. All sorts. We done with this, this bit. Well, listen, back to YouTube channels. Uh, it's not a bit. It's like big bad that on YouTube. Let's play every short game. Listen, my media. Is that an actual YouTube channel? Yeah, I, uh, up and coming. TBA? So listen, uh, oh yeah, so I, I watched two recent movies that just came out. Uh, first one, um, I'll be brief. Uh, Jackass 4. Mm. Great stuff. Uh, they're old, but they're still good. Eric Garner was in the next house. Eric Garner, Joker's, uh, Curtis Douglas. I always watch Jackass 4, very funny movie. The second movie I watched was, uh, Uncharted. I wasn't saying Uncharted 4, but it's the first one. Uncharted. Tom Holland was pretty much shoehorned in. He, you know, he's Sony's uh, little picture right now. <laughs> so, and, uh, Mark Wahlberg was in there. It's an okay movie. It's a good adventure. I never played the Uncharted games. I am playing them now, though. They're free on, like, PlayStation. They were, at least. And, um... Did he spoil the movie? <laughs> don't worry. I don't want to spoil any movies. Uh, Andy's brother may get a little angry at me. <laughs> but it was a good adventure. I would watch it if uh, you don't care about, like, continuity. Whatever. Uncharted? Yeah. That just came out. Hard pass. Is that Mark and Mark yeah. or no? I do like Mark and Mark. You stupid. But man. I don't even know what this movie is. It's like National Treasure, but that was good. Oh, National Treasure's great. It's like charted, but not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's a word for that. That's a good one, man. That's a good one. Hey. I'll give you that. You know what? You get a five-second head start on the choke now. <laughs> I don't think that matters. Are we doing trivia tonight? <laughs> it was trivia tonight. Oh, good. Okay. Trivia's at the end. Is this going to... And this... there's no Tony trivia. I know we had some complaints about that. That was terrible. <laughs> I, I mean, a true story, I had a complaint about the trivia. Quote, that guy was really trying to get you with that, and it didn't work out. Who's Tony? Even, did you see Ryan, Ryan commented about it, too? <laughs> yes. He said, horrible segment, and it was that segment. <laughs> you like, like, listen to the timestamp. Shout out to Gene Wilder. I got your lunchbox. Hey, yeah. Anyway, do Gene Wilder. Listen, uh, are you going to say something? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, well, is this it. chug going to take us to our limits? Is yes. time going to be an obstacle here? Yeah, is this a time chug or a quantity <laughs> chug? Uh, we'll see. Maybe a little bit both. Okay. Uh, any media before we go to Harambe? Or? I have something brewing. Kanzi knows that I'm watching it. I don't want to mention it. But it's gonna be. I'll reveal it soon. Yep. But n other than that, nothing new, really. It's oh. worth the hype. You're, um, yes. Mm. You're binge watching the Alexa Woods OnlyFans page. Ooh, that's a good it's one. Alexa Woods. Is that true? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that's uh, a good one. We're going to Elder so God of the Week. Elder God. Take him out, boys. Take him out of the fucking millennium. Harambe. Harambe. Right. <laughs> it's out. I don't have a bow on. Let's, um, it's just a little small. It's oh. tough to see. Hey, what's the wood? <laughs> Who is that? That's Rambe. Oh, no, this is, uh, this is, oh, this, yeah, this, I saw that. This is Mike Hera. Shout out to Mike Hera. <laughs> Who is Mike Hera? <laughs> He's this guy on TikTok who, like, reacts to, like, every video, and he goes, Mike Hera here. Watch him <laughs> that Billy May is here. <laughs> it's like one where, like, this guy is just making, like, nachos, and, like, it's, like, a huge nacho thing. I could use thing. some nachos right and, now. And, like, it's custom. Mike Hera here, and those are my type of nachos. <laughs> it's like, if uh, Mike Hera is listening, we'll have you on. No, he does the quest to, like, say stuff. I, I put it, like, do an Elder God one. Oh, yeah. So you may get that. Well, maybe this chug. <gasps> I'll put it in this episode. That's yeah, amazing. Back to Harambe. Yeah? Elder God of the Week is Harambe. Or should I say Harambe? Harambe the Gorilla was born in Texas in the year 1999. His name comes from the song Harambe. Working together for freedom. Quite poetic, if you ask me, because Harambe was a true friend. Fortunately, on May 28, 2016, Harambe was fairly shot by the f***ing bastards at the Cincinnati Zoo. Excuse me. Uh, I get a little emotional here. I'm crying. <laughs> He's taking the popcorn. <laughs> on that day, a young boy fell into Harambe's home. Harambe being a confused silverback gorilla. <laughs> He tried to protect the boy. However, the people at Cincinnati Zoo were mentally defective, so the only solution to them was bloodlust. It was then this hero fell, one day after he turned 17, I remind you. It's not all bad, though. 
But Rambe lives on through all of us, through the internet. His legacy will last forever, and will hopefully prevent another incident like this. Can we play that Harambe song in this episode? We'll play it a little bit. Filthy Frank, right? Filthy Frank shouts him. Yeah. Uh, there's rumors he's dating Doja Cat. Yeah, but I'll anyway, uh, moment sounds for Harambe. The good fucking popcorn. Thank you. The Elder God Podcast is personally sponsoring <laughs> out for all the zookeepers at the Cincinnati <laughs> Zoo. We, we want their fucking heads. That, this will only be available on the Patreon. Price that, that, is, no, 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 no. You're confusing. That's the evening sip doing that. <laughs> well, we're not doing that. We'll we'll, sp- both sp- <laughs> we'll both sponsor it. We have to do an evening sip. <laughs> it's just a sip and a coffee with some things. <laughs> Look forward to that episode. Uh, anyway, um, Harambe, the only notes I have about him is um, the kid's name was Joshua Fiola. Yeah, where's the kid? Where's, where's he right now? Can you, can you imagine like growing up in high school and saying, like, oh, I'm the kid who got Harambe shot? You know how you go to the first day of class, usually in college, where everyone goes, all right, go around, say hello, who you are. And it's all right, you know. Um, Two truths and a lie. Name? What's his name? <laughs> Joshua. Uh, I'm Josh. I'm from Cincinnati. Anybody know Harambe? I was the kid in the cage. It was me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I was a meme like ten years ago. He probably wrote his college admissions essay on yes. that experience. Okay, yeah. The guilt of story. getting Harambe shot story. just eats at me every day. I'm sure is what he what, was saying. What if he was a regular? Let's just say this kid had a membership at the zoo. He goes every weekend. All of a sudden, he climbs into his favorite animal's cage. Bam! It's over. He's no need to go back. You know what? I think too much blame is put on that kid. I think the yeah. real mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the real person we should be directing our attention to is the parents Old of parents. that kid. Old parents. For letting him What's slip in there. Again, that could have been his favorite animal. What's he could have gone every single week. He could have loved Harambe. Maybe he just wanted to get closer. Mm-hmm. How That's for the, the parents to say. Okay. How about the directors of the zoo mm-hmm. having you know not enough security measures around the gorilla cage? Honestly, if we're really thinking about it, why couldn't they just let Harambe <laughs> the kid? You can always make more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can you make more Harambe's? No. You can't make more Harambe's. One Harambe's exactly. is it. We're on the same page here. I'm just saying, uh, Joshua Fioli. He doesn't have a Wikipedia page. How old was the kid? Three. Three? So what is he now? That's not even that like much seven. time. Seven. It's not even going to no, sell you back like, that much to make like another nine. one. Or eight. No. Listen. What, it was 2016. 2016? Right? Uh, yeah. yeah, I guess so. I got my Harambe figurine over here by U2s. Um, Harambe. I, didn't, I didn't really go over like shelf today, but we have the Kool-Aid Man. The, the Live Studio The Coca-Cola <laughs> bottle. He, he, he may come into play later. Um, <laughs> we have my gorilla. We have some track to kind of just put down. The count. It's a tribute. Count to count. We have Mer Monday. And we also have Mr. Potato Head. No, maybe we'll talk about that later. But Don't forget Woody. You know, yeah, I just give up Woody. <laughs> he's, he's like uh, crucified up there. Oh, yeah. He died for Harambe. We love Harambe. Yeah, anything to say, I'll say about Harambe? Uh, I love him. So he's a gorilla. I, I love monkeys in general. Apes. Do the, do the ape. <laughs> I do, I do it better than Big Y, but any else to say, Kanji? Too soon. Too soon. I feel like the world's been shittier ever since. No joke. It has. You know, I was talking to my parents today about how it's going on the podcast, and their topic was Harambe. <laughs> and my dad was like, oh, that's the monk, that's like the gorilla that got shot, right? I'm like, yes. So I think that just shows that Harambe's legacy, even outside of the internet, with just, you know, generic Gen Xer parents, still <laughs> lives on, you know? Let's do a little cheers for Harambe, everybody. Cheers for Harambe on this. Dicks out. Dicks out. I, I'm going to say I love this soda. It's really good. Mm. This is like my best soda in like it's the fantastic. last two episodes. Yeah. I don't think Harmony Springs does uh, orange cream. So mm. what are going to do? Shout out to A-Treat. Oh, whatever you do. Let's tag them and see if they send us something. Whatever you do, don't mention the person who's on this podcast yeah. who lives near Harmony Yeah, Tony Springs. gets all worked up. Who? Shouts. Andy's oh, brother? Uh, Andy's brother. Oh, Shout out yeah, Cedar yeah, yeah. Street next door. Yeah. My old turf. Anyway, guys, you guys, uh, are you too thirsty at all? I'm always thirsty. I think, I think it may be time for this chug off. Mm, yeah, I'm famished. All right. What are we chugging today? I'm well, not, listen, boys, not this chug off, the audio version will, of course, still have the audio, but always check out the YouTube version because we're doing a full video of this, all right, guys? So go ch- switch the YouTube version if you want. I'm going to go, re- we're going to go record that right now. Are we allowed to drain the tank before we do this? Why does this not look focused? What? Maybe not, it is. I'm just blurring in real life. We got. Oh boy. Shit. Oh. Coke. Oh, alright. It's Coke. That's simple. He couldn't do Diet Coke. What makes you think he's gonna do Coke? I didn't even think about it. <laughs> I, wish, I wish it was Diet, but. <laughs> one and a half liter, 1.25 liter. Oh, you guys wanna like stand up and do this? Or? Oh, well, you know I have to pour it. Oh, yeah, okay, I gotta pour it in the boo. He has the advantage because uh, he has the so boo. We're not allowed to piss first, are we? You can you piss if you want. Alright. Don't touch that mouse. You're watching double digit talks. 
What's going on everybody? It's Double Digit Chugs here. Today we have a special edition. We have a chug off against the Kanzi Chugs today. We're all very excited. We're going to be chugging the exclusive Coca-Cola. Got this straight from our Coke dealer. But you know what? Big Y. <laughs> Why don't we start out with a little sip just to get the taste. Whoa, smells good. Don't show Kanzi that. Somebody's coming. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Mm, you're very cokey, very cola y. Oh, that's fantastic. And there he is Kanzi Chugs. It's not the Starlight Coke. I'm a little bit disappointed. So now, you know what we have to do here, uh, bad oh, double digit Chugs. <laughs> <laughs> we need to pour it in the boots. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that, folks. Ah, yeah. Ah. That's so much. That's so much coke. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's got such an advantage. <laughs> Remember, keep the this side out. Yeah. We'll do one at a time. Fridge cool. Nah, nah. He's got to drink out of the boot, no? That's the fun of it. No? Maybe not. Nah. Alright. Because the winner's getting the DOS boot. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I have to like kneel on the ground because I'm going to like tip yes. it up. Okay. Oh. Also, let me just get off. Uh, yeah, uh, audience is here. So You're on. ready? Put a little timer in the corner here, boys. Enough talk. Get through, Kanzi, why are you wearing two socks? Wait, we're going to videotape? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, enough talk. Let's get to the chalk. Okay. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> For the Elder God podcast. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, how are you getting the burps? We're hitting the one minute mark. <sighs> oh, man, Kanye's actually doing it. <laughs> Holy shit, Kanye's doing it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Kanye's doing Damn. it. Come on, Dan, double D shugs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, yeah, I stopped it. Oh, okay, yes. never mind. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you have 41 seconds. Holy shit, Kanzi <laughs> doing it. Kanzi did it. Holy shit. Because Kanzi's keeping his cat. <clears throat> yeah, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep it going if it doesn't dig your shugs. <laughs> Holy shit. It's Man. See, it's hard. <laughs> I think that was really unhealthy. <laughs> go, 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 go. Chug, chug. Let's yeah, zoom in on that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to burp so bad. Push through the pain. <sighs> Tip it all the way up. Give <laughs> some that. I need to burp so bad or else I'm going to blow up. You got to let it, let it out. <sighs> Oh god, I need to burp. Clean yourself. If I burp, Clean I bet I can finish it. That's what I was doing, I was making room. Oh. You can do it, Dan. I believe oh, in you. I oh, come on. I just need the burp to come out. Oh. Oh. Do you want me to pat you on the back? Yes. Pat him on the back, pat him on the back. <laughs> oh, I can feel it. Go higher. Oh. I might puke. I just need his burp. <laughs> oh. You can do it, Dan. Oh. You can do it, Dan. I just need this burp to come out. Oh. Pat again. <laughs> oh, I felt a little one. Why can't I burp? <laughs> Alright, this might be a lost cause. Oh. Alright, boys. Oh. <laughs> that was the chug off. Kinds of wins. Oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like, listen, God. listen. I got a reward for you, Kanzi. <sighs> also, follow Kanzi Chugs on YouTube. Kanzi Chugs. <clears throat> oh, there we Kanzi go. Kanzi Chugs. For Damn. the winner, a trophy. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Woo! Uh. I felt disgusting. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I appreciate it. Mike Kara here, and I want to wish Big Bad Thad a happy two-year anniversary on his podcast. Way to go.
Believe it or not, I'm 15 years on my podcast. Holy crap, Aroni, that's right. And I hope, uh, Thad, that you're going to be able to reach uh, 15 years, 30 years. You know, I wish you the very best, and I hope your uh, p- podcast lasts and lasts through the test of time. And uh, congratulations on that milestone, and I just want to wish you the very best. That show is so intense, so I always had to go to the bathroom after. A bystand. I wonder Good who chug. won. Congratulations, Conzi. Congratulations. Don't do chugs, you know. We'll do a, we'll do a, a salty sweet in yes. uh, summer. I, right? I need to train a little bit, yeah, clearly. Yeah. Maybe you'll be a guest you, on the evening sip. You won. Congratulations video won. You won this one, so it's, you're kind of tied right now. Mm-hmm. Let's go to trivia, because <laughs> <laughs> trivia. trivia done with. Yeah. Trivia. Okay, trivia gets shouted out. When whoever shouts it out. Cherry Vanilla sounds good. What president has a connection to Harambe? I feel like this is a trick question. A uh, U.S. president. Not Ukrainian. Not Ukrainian. Okay. Yeah. I want to say... What type of connection? Like, get, they know somebody who knows somebody. I want to say Bill Clinton. <laughs> nope. Close, though. Trump? A living president? Yes. Not Trump. Bush? Uh, which Bush? Uh, George H.W. Bush. Jeb Bush. It would have to be George W. Bush. He's alive. George W. George Bush. W. Bush. <laughs> Shit. What's the connection? That's He's been to the zoo? Seen it. He is a picture of him with Harambe's mother. Whoa. What? On screen, on screen right now. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Shout out. And you, Salvis, you get something, too. This better be good. Hope it's combos. Another trophy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, man. Two you know what? Two. I actually want to give it to Dan. Oh, thank you, Dan. You got it. I'm still going to finish this, Chug. <laughs> well, what's wrong? Did, did you want the trophy? Yeah, I wanted a prize. He's still sipping the soda. <laughs> you know what? I'll give you something. Here. Take a Polish Kinder Egg. Thanks. I don't know how do you, how do you pronounce that word. You get the trophy for losing? You know, I, he, he kind of said bush, you know, so... It's smaller. I'm finishing it. Give me that Kinder Egg. Yeah, he's fucking eating it. I'm hungry. Just... Yeah, do you have any well, uh, hors d'oeuvres or appetizers or... Yeah, like real food? I'm what hungry. the fuck do you think this is? <laughs> I lost the chug, but I did finish. It's currently midnight at my house. You want me to make a... Well, well, grab a couple Red Baron pizzas. <laughs> There's <laughs> enough for each of us. <laughs> no, it's only three. Someone would have to us go three. home. Someone else would have to go home. What's in your toy? What's a toy? I don't know. How you open it? Open it, bitch. I was going to open the toy for three-year-olds. For the audio listeners, it's a piece of plutonium from the Chernobyl after Russians took it over. It's a car you have to build? In a Ooh, kid's a car. What are we, what are we toy doing? egg. Cop couldn't even get this for Misha for her birthday. <laughs> just think about that. Wow. Anyone want a piece of my egg? Want a piece of candy? Want to break egg with me? The instructions are in Polish. So it's way on the inside. Polish? I love Japanese. Oh, just Polish. We're going to story time. I see. That's like uh, Arabic. Story time. First story I have is uh, one for you, Kanzi. The other day I was at McDonald's getting um, a McDoublewish, maybe some fries. And guess what happens? I almost ran over somebody. <laughs> oh. Who was it? Take a guess. Take a wild guess who I almost ran over. BJ? Close. That was a little star. It was a Minya. <laughs> really? <laughs> it was a Minya. I was driving in there. Uh, I saw a group of hooligans. And he, he about to go off, and he like he like laughing. He's like, Ugh, I'm fucking Minya. Shout out to Simply Video Games. I know, they almost hit him. Minya is a uh, story for another day. Thanks. How's he doing? I don't know. He's almost, he almost died. My Subaru almost crushed his brains. Your uh, oh. Subaru, please. Let me tell you. Someone brags about their Subaru all the time. Like, you think it'd be some, like, 10-star car. I'm not going to mention his name, but... What are you your car? Mine. Is that the merch money? 2012? Don't worry about what this is. It's fucking good. Listen, your stories? Yeah, I got some stories. You don't have any snacks, bro. Come on. What do you want? What do you want? Can we, go, go can we honestly go cook a pizza? I, I have something for you. Okay. Can you go cook a pizza? I'm not cooking pizza, but... Chug this whole you guys fucking... Keep talking. If you cook us a eating. pizza, I'll buy you two more. And I can't fucking okay. I did this. This, like, put me to my limits. Bring some potato chips. I'm pressing you. I feel like crap, and I drank that, like, over a much longer time. Oh, my shit. I don't feel good, but no. I've been I've been chugging a lot recently, to be honest. You've been practicing? Yeah. I can tell. That was a that was an impressive chug. I have like a shaker, so I just like, you know, a couple times a day I just pound it down. Mm-hmm. I was worried though, because without chugs I'm nothing. This is this is heavy. It's it cool. Is. It's good. It's good I almost wonder if it made it worse because there was more like liquid going into my mouth at one time as opposed to like this way. Yes. <laughs> oh shit. Pizza. About the pizza Pringles. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, not for me. Mm. Oh, actually, you're not bad. I have some stories. Uh, first one I want to discuss is Adventures with Kanzi Ooh. and TF. At the end of the last podcast... Andy's brother? Andy's brother. <laughs> Andy's brother and I, we started the rib, I guess. His version of ribbing. 
and we ended up in Agawam. I don't think we were in Agawam at all, but we ended up in Greenfield, and I said, oh, my good buddy, Big K, lives in Greenfield, and we're just driving around, and I was like, oh, he lives somewhere near the high school. Shout out to Greenfield High. Shout out to Greenfield Wave. Green Wave. Green Wave. Yeah. Shouts. So we're driving around, and I said, I think he lives over here. We passed by, went around. There you were. He's got a great bumper sticker on his car, two now. And uh, we hung out with Kanzi until like, what, 2 a.m. On, on some adventures, driving through New Hampshire and Greenfield and uh, Vermont. Apparently you had a gallon of milk with you the whole time? He did. Yep. Like a half a gallon. Always chugging. Picture on the YouTube version. Always chugging. And it was a good time. Check out Kanzi Chugs on YouTube. Yeah, check out Kanzi Chugs. I've been hearing about that. You took us down towards the Greenfield River. Yep. Correct. I think it's called the Green River. Green River. Do you plan on chugging the Green River? A um, one million subscriber special. I'll chug the whole Greenfield River. <laughs> mm. get, get on that, guys. Hit that button. Green River versus Chickley River, which is painted on the wall over there. Mm. You have a story? About the, my polls on Instagram. Oh, they're great. We did a fry bracket, best fry. Waffle fries won. So. Interesting. And I was upset. Did I text you? Did I send you a message yeah. <laughs> about the one I was upset about? Yeah. What was it? I forgot, but. I think it was like chili fries versus like crinkle fries or something. Poutine maybe? I don't know. It was bullshit. I could go for some fries right now. I'm going to point out a friend of me of the podcast, Marlo, point out onion ring should have been the bracket. What? It's not it's a potato. Not, not a potato. What? Come on. So uh, let me ask you, how much did Putin pay you to rig the poll? <laughs> Listen, why do you think we can afford these pizza Pringles? Listen, what's your story? I got a couple. I want to talk about something that I saw online a couple weeks ago, and I saved it, and I said, we will discuss in the podcast. So let me pull it up. I'm going to miss a potato head over there. Mm. I didn't pay for it, nowhere. What's that about? Yeah, explain. I guess um, Misha's mom, uh, she bought one for the cops kid. And I just pointed out that, oh, if I was a kid, I would love that as a kid. And she took it as I wanted one. So she went and bought me one for Valentine's Day. Wow. That's nice. I have yeah. a, I have so you buy something like that. I have a giant, uh, oh, excuse me, M- potato head. Not Mr. Potato Head. Potato Head. Yeah, potato person. Potato person. I've got this map that Barstool posted of favorite pizza toppings by state. Whoa, and I figured I've seen this, this one. Okay, this is something we need to discuss. Okay. Okay. What is the number one topping countrywide? Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Okay. What is second? Sausage. I'm say onions. It's sausage. Mm-hmm. Uh, third? Hamburger. Hamburgers are nowhere on this. Onions? Oh. Bacon. Onions are nowhere on it. Spinach. Bacon's fifth. Bacon's fifth. What about peppers? No. Olives. Buffalo chicken? Pineapple. Olives is fourth, so what's third? Buffalo Pineapple? chicken? No. Pineapple. Chicken. Chicken's not on it. No. No pineapple. What Cheese? No. I have, I have big things too, believe that. It's a, ve- it's a vegetable. Um, Peppers? Eggplant. No. Fried no. eggplant. Oh, mushrooms. Mushrooms. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's not even a vegetable. Yeah, the last four are very strange. I okay. want to take a wild guess in the last four of the top nine. Ham. I'm no. going to abstain because I've seen this map before. Anchovies. They're not meat. I know what one of them is. Mm. No, what is it? Should I say it? Yeah. Corn. Mm-hmm. Corn? What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you saw this? I, that was the only one I remember. <laughs> you looking at it? No. <laughs> Yeah, corn sixth. Uh, I'm gonna go with ketchup. No. Okay. Oh, what was the Tomatoes? last one? No. Out out of these last three, I've only had one on pizza before. Like sardines, anchovies. No. Hmm. Oh, um, <clears throat> close. Pickles. No. Oh shit. Mm. Close to anchovies. Yeah. Oh, uh, oysters. No. Clams or no? Shouts to salad clams. <laughs> yeah, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Avocado was seventh. Uh, no, I could have. Tuna been. is eighth. Yo, what? And carrots is ninth. So now it goes to what states are eating these? Okay, so what's Massachusetts on on those top on those nine choices? Uh, I remember looking at it and think that it's Massachusetts, Vermont, and New York, all in this vicinity, have this as the top. Fucking pizza pineapple, topping. probably. No, it's got to be those. I'm gonna say uh, pineapple wasn't one. One of the top five. Is it sausage? It's pepperoni. Oh, all right. I thought it'd be okay. casual. So. Uh, New and we're, if we're going locally here, New Hampshire is black olives, while Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Maine are all sausage. We travel to the state of Pennsylvania, mm. which Dan knows well. Yes. What is the topping of choice there? I remember seeing it, and I was like, I've never seen anyone eat that. Oh man, was it um, was it corn? Was it's that one corn. of the weird ones? Yeah, it's corn. Shouts to West Virginia as well for also liking corn. What the. I never seen a corn pizza. Never seen it either. Other weird ones: California, Arizona are the avocado states, which makes sense. You know, they're a little weird out there. I don't, I'm gonna say it, I don't like avocado. I'll say it's a, it's a, it's just bland. It's okay. I'll say. Um, tuna goes to the state of. Is it New Mexico? No. No. I'm saying. Alaska. New Mexico is carrots. That's right. That was the. I'm gonna say Alaska. No, Alaska's pepperoni. Oh. Is it Hawaii? 
No, a Hawaii sausage. Oh, a pineapple. Pineapple's not on this. Kansas. Kansas. I'm saying Alabama. Is mushroom. There's a bunch of freaks down there. Kansas is pepperoni. Minnesota is tuna, which I have had tuna on pizza, and it was oh. it was pretty good to be honest with you. Just canned tuna, like yeah. That sounds not so yeah, horrible. there's the map <laughs> as a whole. You know, pepperoni and sausage seem to, to dominate everywhere. Yes. Minus those odd states of corn, carrots, and tuna. What's what's on Wisconsin? Black olives. Oh, okay. I saw the two names, and I thought it was something weirder. Carrots might be the strangest one, honestly. What what do you what else do you put on the pizza with carrots? Do you get like pepperoni and carrots? The carrot, honestly, I. I think I'd take tuna over carrots. At least like anchovies, tuna, like makes it kind of makes a little bit of sense. But why carrots? But it's like it, that's like getting lettuce on pizza. Yeah, it's just so that's that might be the weirdest one. I can see the corn. I can kind of. What the else corn. are you putting on there with corn? Conzi's uh, making Conzi's kitchen. You're making a corn pizza. What else are you putting on with that corn? Uh, you're not chugging the cream corn. You're putting it on the pizza. <laughs> Pineapple, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> and then. You know, you maybe see, pizza Pringles. Don't say it. Extra sauce. Don't say it. We'll say what? I don't know what you're going to say. Don't say it. I was just going to say like bacon or something. I got you. Do you think we could, uh, you know? You know, what's the deal, Big Y? Let me tell him there. I'm like, why? If I called Big Y and said, Let, give me pizza, you know, pepperoni, sausage, all those top pizzas, toppings, olives, mushrooms, throw some corn on there. Would they oblige and go, okay, yeah, I'll get the corn. And then they go over to the aisle with the corn. Do they get fresh corn, canned corn, frozen corn, green mm. corn? They have to oblige, right? Have, they have yeah, to do uh, it. I just from bully today. Yeah, customer's always right. Mr. and Mrs. Y have always said that if you order corn on your pizza, you're going to get it. That's yeah. in the Big Y handbook. I can tell you as an employee. Well, it's something you have to think about. If you order it and it's a grocery store, they have to have it somewhere in the store. Mm. So they have to put it on the pizza or the sandwich or the sushi, whatever you're getting there. Could you do that with anything? Like... If they did that, why not? What's stopping you from saying like, yeah, could you grab some like cat food or something? Yeah, Put on there. I mean, it's my cat's birthday. We're having a party. Can you make a party size yeah. pizza? Throw a little friskies on that. Mm-hmm. You could probably make one yourself since you work there. Yeah, just walk by the counter. What's this up? You got the badge, right? Just walk up. Yeah, walk up with a little you know, cat can. Just spend that on. Anybody else got stories? I got another story. So I say I love you guys. Love you too, Dad. Thank you, man. Last week, as I got the sodas and the greedy picture, I was in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Yeah. I hit up three major fast food establishments within 12 hours. Oh, we can tell. Okay. <laughs> Got them. One of them I had to travel to New Jersey for, but we will get to that in a second. Oh. So I started the day off with Waffle House. Yes. Great establishment okay. from what I've been Waffle doing. House, blow your balls off. Was the wait, same way there? They were not. Okay. So they must still be at the Naples location. Mm-hmm. Waffle House is impressive. I was there on a Sunday, like 10 o'clock. The way they run... That restaurant, everybody has their own job. I was sat at the counter. There's a guy that's just doing the meats. There's a lady that's just cracking eggs. There's a lady that's just doing the hash browns. There's a guy just making waffles. And there's someone that, like, puts it all together. And then the, there's there's no, like, computer system. Everything is on, like, tags. And they all just come in. They just know what they're doing. It was smooth. Impressive. I went to Tim Hortons after that. Best donuts. Best coffees. Tim Hortons. Shouts Tim Hortons. I get the better. Tim Hortons gift card. It's not better than Chamorro's Bakery in Indian no. Orchard. No. Chamorro's is good. Chamorro's is not good. Better, not better. I should have a picture from there today. And I will be there tomorrow. Shout out to Chamorro's. Sponsored. Yeah. Now, honestly, when I arrived in Allentown, Chamorro's. Is that for this? It's all those are excellent. Yeah, I like the Danishes there. Oh, excellent. Uh, when I got to Allentown, I got off the highway. What is the first thing I saw? None other than a white castle. Oh. A white castle. And I'd never been to a white castle before. You know, and especially with the Joker's lore, I needed to go to White Castle. So I go to the hockey game, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going to go to White Castle later on tonight. You know, like, maybe that's like a 9 o'clock snack. They closed at 4 p.m. on a Sunday. So what do I do? I said, where's the next closest waffle? The next closest White Castle. It was 30 miles away in some town in New Jersey. So I did it. I went to Good. Phillipsburg, New Jersey. White Castle lives up to the hype. The sliders, impeccable. I had the onion rings as well. <sighs> onion rings were very good. Highly recommend White Castle. Um, Murr loves it. Sal loves it, even though they prefer the one in the Bronx. But, uh, Dad, we have to make a trip just to go to White Castle. Tonight? Maybe tonight. Let's go. Yeah. Right now. I gotta take a shit. But yeah, that, that was the yeah, hype. White too. Castle's I the best. I skiing tomorrow, too. Speaking of uh, White Castle, moment of silence for Harambe. Oh, yeah. Moment of silence. Speaking of White Castle, um, check out Ch- Kanzi Chugs on YouTube. <laughs> that was gonna do it. Oh, that was a great shit. And the evening sip, of course. Yeah, oh, cast evening sip. It's a separate channel. <laughs> Can you give us the rundown on what you do in the evening sip? You know, just 
go through uh, pertinent topics, you know. Ukraine? Yeah, yeah. yeah pertinent <laughs> geopolitical situations. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just sit down with a DOS boot and... Does everyone have a DOS boot? Just <laughs> about a DOS boot. <laughs> It's uh, it's really in the works right now. It's to be de- determined. You know, whatever the fans want, I, I'll just I could chug on that channel too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna. Uh, All right, anyway. Any, anything else to say, uh, Big Bad Sal? I don't think so. It's a good episode. Chief Chugs. Chief Chugs. Can that be my name on the evening sip? Yeah. We're we all gonna have chug names. These are easily the best Pringle. Also, I want to point out that the White Castle closed the dining room, so when I got there, I couldn't get the full White Castle experience I used in the car. It wasn't actually a White Castle, more like a white drawbridge. Yeah, it was like you were sieging the White Castle, yeah. just outside of it. It was a peasant. Yeah. Clearly. Shout out to peasants. Shout out to Harambe. Yep. Shout out to Bjorn. Yep. You have to keep your cat, at least. Yep. I don't think you're getting the boot, but... No, yeah. I, I order, ordered one. Yeah, you got the trophy, at least. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely taking it. We never specified which DOS boot. Yeah. <laughs> you get a DOS boot. Yeah. How many do you think Badland Chugs has gone through? Oh, a ton. Like breaking it or drinking Just it? Just breaking it. How many has he owned? Does he have a like a cabinet full? I bet he does because he's had chugs where he has multiple of these. Yeah. Mm. And he's doing okay. one. I want to get the long True. one where it's just like a ball <laughs> at the end. Yeah. Like three foot long. He also has this like giant wine glass. I bet he breaks those. Oh, yeah. It's the, ga- the gallon wine glass. Yeah, the gallon wine glass. I think uh, it's like Squidward. He has like, the closet full of alarm clocks. He has, like, he has a closet full of dust boots. <laughs> So you do it. I, I think I can get Eric Booker on the podcast, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the evening sip has connections, I heard. Yeah. I was over here looking at Alexa Wood stuff. Mm. Listen, Gumby, I'm glad to have you on. Good when to see you. When's the last time you were on? Halloween episode. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah I, I was, was really hoping we were going to be at your place right now. Next oh, yeah, time, we were supposed to be at your place. evening sip. Yeah, we'll record yeah. the evening sip yeah. at your place. We'll do the evening sip for sure. We can do an evening sip right after this, you know what? Well, they've had enough of sips. It's on. currently at 1 a.m. Yeah. yeah, I got to get going. <laughs> All right, boys, that was the Elder Gods podcast, episode 33, Harambe. I'm, I'm sure we honored his memory with this podcast right now. Chugs out. Chugs out for Harambe. Chugs out. Chugs out. Uh, any, any parting words? Good episode. Good episode. It's good to be back, and I'm um, looking forward to coming back on sometime. Yeah, always a budget. For the audio listeners, that point of me, and I said nothing. <laughs> plug your channel? <laughs> yeah, plug your channel. Yeah, uh, <laughs> for the audio listeners, check out uh, Kanzi Chugs on YouTube.com. Also, check out the Instagram, Facebook group, the Twitter group, Instagram, buy the merch. Subscribe. We have new business cards coming soon. Comment. We have. We already have the new stickers. I will come to your the house. The Elder God page is going through a revamp soon. We're going to be making some more shit Ooh. in there. I will tie you up. Where'd it go? Well, we're not tying anybody I will up. No. take control stop. of your house Just stop. and make your family, your kids, your wife subscribe while you watch. All right, that's enough. With no control of the situation. <laughs> Just like Harambe had no control over his situation.